Okay, I'm back out. I'm back in the lakes. Done Blen Cafra on Monday. And today I've parked down at Buttermere. And I've just, I've been climbing through the uh, the shade and I've just got out now. The sun, I'm fighting a losing battle because the sun is dropping. But I'm getting a bit more height, but hopefully I'm going up behind us to get a bit more height, Robinson. <sighs> he hopes. That's bathed in the sunshine at the moment. You can see the path. Anyhow, it's quarter to three. I've got a, just over an hour of daylight, so if I need to get up there. Probably another 200 odd metres. Yeah, making good progress, but this lot here, it's an absolute swamp bog. I can't remember it last time I, I come in the summer, it was probably a lot drier, so that's probably why, but it's so still. Anyhow, I'll get in there. My path zigzags its way up and then on the top. Breath of wind, do you? Completely still. Might be different when I go on the summit. It is forecast for light winds tonight, that's why I'm somewhat camping. Push on. left of that sun. I'll give it another 20 minutes, half an hour, and it'll dip behind the red pike there. Yeah, it's starting to haze up in the valleys. Right, this pike there. But, uh, I'm getting there. Whew. It's like a summer's day. Unbelievable. Patch of snow, obviously the, the sun's not melting this bit. Just catching on the sides there, but not enough. I think we're not far off now. A little bit of a breeze, which is good, cool us down. Right, here's the shelter on Robinson, 737 metres. We just have sun. Yeah, you can see Scarfell there. Elvellan range over there. And the shadows are just cast and blow skidder and Blen Cafra saddleback that I was up there with there. And then we've got Grassmore, Whiteley's Pike Blow. And you can just, well, Fleetwiths just below us in the mine. They're casting shadow at the moment, so it's just a case of finding a decent spot to pitch up for the night. It's quite, quite rocky here. So I might have to drop off the summit, that's somewhere that's a bit less rocky. I'll have a look over this side. Nearly got a full moon out there as well. Yeah, I'm struggling for a pitch. That's flat. <laughs> Keep looking. Right, I found a pitch, not the best. It's a bit rocky, a bit lumpy and bumpy in places, but uh, it's not too bad. down from the summit which is over there but uh, as you can see the sun has dipped and the temperature starting to drop so I want to get the rest of the stuff inside as you can see I'm in the dual mid so I'll have to put my little inner in and get sorted we're all set up inside got all my junk down there rucksack all my bits and pieces food and that I'm in the Thermarest Exterm tonight I've got a foil double foil mat this time and I've got my UGQ quilt and the usual pillar and stuff but yeah we're all set up yeah some beautiful colours now this camera picks it out it's 
So I think I want to get a brew on. Right, so we didn't have an awful lot of time. Sunset, put the tent up. Priority was to get the tent up, so I'm all set up with the shelter. It is quite cool now that the sun's dropped, disappeared. So I should be nice and warm tonight. I brought on my winter stuff as per. It's very little wind, which is great. So hopefully, clear night. I'll be putting the uh, this out for a night lapse. Yep, a golden sunset, if there ever was one. Stunning. Right, we've got a bite on to eat. I'm just using up some army rations that are getting close to their date. Um, I think that's a sweet and sour chicken soup thing. And I've got a chocolate pudding, chocolate sauce. And I've got a queer mess down there. What a mess. But I've brought a few, well, not much, but a little bit of rum. That's all I had left of me whiskey for my birthday. And I've got a can of... Elvis juice as well, so but the temperature at the moment is just hovering above zero. It's all right, it's got rice and that in it, rice and chicken, sweet and sour. Cheers. I wonder about. It's a lot, I've been up to the summit, it was a lot windier. Not much, but you know, definitely brings the temperatures down when you've got a bit of a wind blowing. But down here, it's not too bad. But, uh, yeah, I've been counting all the head torches that are knocking about. So there's a few folk out tonight. It's Friday night. Busy night. I think that's the plough behind me tent, but this, this camera while we're picking it out. What I'll do is I'll take a still and see if I can uh, incorporate it behind, just above the tent. Anyhow, I'm waffling. <laughs> Right, I've had a good wander about. Um, what a difference it makes when it's a beautiful night. You can get out and you can do stuff, you can kill time. That last camp on it was just so cold with the wind, you know, it was unbearable. But this has been a pleasant night. If you keep wandering about, you keep nice and warm, and uh, the time just whittles away. It's, it's back of eight o'clock now, so I want to go back and have a warm drink. I've got them couple of shorts to finish off. I'll have those and then uh, by that time it'll be time to bed down. So yeah, the night's flew in really. So winter camps, not always stuck in the tent all the time. You get a night like tonight, you know, it's a joy. But uh, yeah, few and far between because normally the wind is howling up here. There's not a breath, it's unbelievable. But good. Blew too hard. Uh. Oh, just chuck it in there. Eh?
Oh yes, very nice. I'm gonna call it tonight. I've shut up shop, so you know I've done all my wandering about. Took some night night lapses, night photography, and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I kept very busy, and um, yeah, half nine. So with a little bit of whiskey left, I'll have a little nip of that. Put my music back on. Just chill out for the rest of the night and um, yeah fingers crossed for tomorrow I might get an inversion we never know doubtful there was one today um, as I say I looked at pictures this morning that had been posted on Twitter and the lakes had uh, an inversion but depends what sort of height you're at I'm, I might be not high enough um, the one I seen was Glen Caffra where I was on Monday and that was you know it was just the tops that were showing so but be highly unlikely to get it two days on the bounce eh? but you never know anyhow catch you in the morning and we'll see what happens then very calm night there's a little bit of wind just picked up now but um the only sort of weird thing was for that past one i was woke up i heard voices uh yeah, defenses what's going on <laughs> there was a couple of guys head torches i could hear them yakking away and then they walked i heard one of them say i better go right so i was say they were avoiding my tent and they went off the hill in front of us and down and then about 20, 30 minutes later, I looked across and I could see them on the Uber Hill. Gone up the Uber Hill. So whether they were just doing like night navigation or something. So. But uh, yeah, I suppose it was a good night for it. But yeah, the, it's been so still, the voices were just uh, sort of carrying. Uh, you know, straight away the heckles are up out, it's getting on. <laughs> but uh, always good. Anyhow. I can't see any signs of an inversion, so it's just the, the look of the draw with that one, isn't it? But uh, it looks like it's going to be a nice sunrise, so I'll uh, I'll show you that. Another stunning morning. You see the mountain top silhouettes. Okay, I've come up to the top of Robinson. I'm I can see better from here. There is, if you look out sort of towards the Solway, there's like mist drifting this way. There is a little bit round by Crummer Quarter. Very little at Buttermere though. But there is, I can sort of see towards Keswick and them places, and there is mist above Keswick, so it might, might still happen. There's time yet. You see that busy A66. But yeah, very soon, 
Doubt it'll warm things up though, not like the summer. Eventually, it's lifting above the mountains. Yeah, beautiful now. The sun is back out since it departed at uh, four o'clock last night. Right, I'm just about packed away. It's got a final few things to lift and put in the bag. I did get condensation on the shelter later on in the uh, early hours. It was all right because I checked it about one o'clock and it was fine, but it, obviously with all my breathing, it's, it's inev inevitable. Stunning. Right, let's carry on. Getting rid, and packing down. That's where I was, just on there. No trace. Yeah, there was bits of stones and that lying around, but I've still managed to get pegs in. The whole hill seems to be like this. I, I had a wonder about last night and everywhere seems to be the same. But yeah, sums up, all is good. I'm gonna head down that way and join the path. That's a slightly different way I come in off the top. So yeah, another good night. Oh, there's my head torch. I wonder where that was. On the hill. Wasn't too bad. You know, obviously being able to get out and do stuff during the night at the early hours of the, uh, the early part of the night meant you kill a lot of time, which does make a lot of difference. Because that last one I was on, I was stuck in the tent basically all night from when I pitched up four or five o'clock right through till uh, eight o'clock in the morning, which is pretty gruesome. But if you can get out and do a bit of stuff and you know, a bit of photography, a bit of a walk, because it was a beautiful night the moonlight and everything so but yeah a rarity right onwards the drop down towards Buttermere and Crummer because there is a bit of an inversion not much but uh, I did think about pitching on that one I've done that one a couple of times so I decided to go up onto Robinson but it looks like somebody's pitched up there so <laughs> the right choice I made eh Gone a bit off piece to you. <laughs> My usual tail. Just come down that right hand side. Zigzagged me way down, looking down towards sort of Keswick area. Blin Kafra. Back in the sunshine again. These are locals. Morning. Yeah, it must have been a, a hard frost down in the valleys. Them fields are pure white. Yeah, the mist's burnt off of Otomia, but it's still hanging over Crummock. That's us uh, not far from being back to the car. So yeah, it was uh, overnight on Robinson. I pitched up a bit late because I, I missed the sunset just. But I was struggling for time yesterday. I had stuff on before I could head out here. So it's always a problem in the winter. Shortage of hours. But anyhow, thanks for watching. And we'll catch it out on the next one. Thank you.